Texas House. When lawmakers return to work today, they elected a new Speaker of the House for the first time in a decade. This is Jason Whiteley live tonight in Austin. Jason, how might this session be different from the last one a couple of years ago? Yeah, John, you know, right now on this first day, it looks to be significantly different. There's really a spirit of optimism here in Austin and at the Capitol that I haven't seen in the last six to eight years over the last few sessions or so. Republicans and Democrats right now agree on the two biggest problems facing the state, and they don't sound that far off on exactly how to fix them either. For the first time in a decade, Texas elected a new Speaker of the House. I declare the Honorable Dennis Bonin of Brazoria County to be the duly elected Speaker of the House of Representatives. Dennis Bonin is a Republican from Angleton, outside Houston, and won unanimously. To be very honest, this is a little bit of a weird experience for me. I never dreamed or planned to be in this position. The next question, how will he lead? What issues will he prioritize? For starters, he said, spending more money on public education, which will also reduce the unsustainable rise we've seen in property taxes in this state. We're going to focus on school finance reform, school finance reform, and school finance reform. And he's laser focusing in on those big, big picture issues. And you're right, if we're going to get those done, uh, we're going to have to be very careful about managing our time to make sure we do that. But in his first speech, Bonin suggested something else. As we all know, a Texas legislative session is way too short to get caught up in things that don't lead to real results. This session is shaping up to be quite different than the last one, when the bathroom bill seemed to dominate the divisiveness. Now a lot of dissension makers got, you know, lost their election and they're not returning to the House. And we have people that have been elected who are here to work together, both Republican and Democrat. And I'm certainly in that camp. Lawmakers from both sides have used words like optimism, new day, fresh start, and in their first vote on the first day, practice that, voting in unity, electing a speaker they can all agree on. <clears throat> you know, most of the attention was on the House today as it elected that new speaker, Dennis Bonin, from Angleton. But on the other side of the rotunda, it was a little different for opening day in the state Senate. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick, the lieutenant governor in this state, presides over that chamber, but he was not here on the opening day of the, of the session. Instead, he was at the White House meeting with President Trump, who called him there to talk about border issues. Reporting live in Austin, Jason Whiteley, Channel 8 News. All right, Jason. Coming up, a game day 